Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a new video for you all. This week I'm doing the Sew Down, which is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, listened to, read, sewn in the last month that we thought you guys would find interesting. Um, anyone else feeling a little bit chilly this week? It, it really has, I, I know I'm very British, but it's definitely got cold this week and I'm sort of sitting in the house trying not to put the heating on in the usual, you know, wear another jumper format. So um, yeah, I'm feeling a little brr. Um, right, so I'm gonna start this off. Usually I start with um, a pattern that I've bought or, and fabric I've got. Um, I talk you through a couple of indie designers that you may not have seen. And then I've got some other kind of interesting stuff that I've read and listened to that I thought you guys all go exhibitions that we think you might find interesting. So before I get started, the first thing is we've got a really exciting announcement. Um, I, if you have seen our social media this week or our newsletter, um, we have just launched on the site um, Copy Shop Printing. So we have got the most beautiful new printer who is called Brenda. Um, she's the newest member of our team and she is wonderful. She prints everything out in A0. And um, yeah, so I'll pop a little thing of her printing because I've, I don't know about you guys, but I find stuff like this sadly fascinating. Um, yeah, so we can now print large scale patterns, which means you do not have to stick 55 sheets of paper together anymore. You can just add it on when you're going to buy your PDF pattern, um, which is quite exciting. At the moment, it's just an add on. So if you're buying a PDF, you can have it, but we don't have just yet the option that you can upload old patterns that you've got. Um, I think we will definitely be doing that. It's just a time thing and it's almost like a separate whole process. So we're kind of looking into that now with our developer who will be getting onto that at some point. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. I, I, you know, I've literally put a massive list in with Rachel of everything I want. It's actually living at her house at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's very, very exciting. Right, so we're gonna start talking patterns. So the first pattern that, um, well, the first pattern, the pattern that I'm gonna make, yes guys, I'm actually going to make something I thought I'd show you. Um, I spoke about it in my last week's Sew the Trends video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and have a look and you can kind of get up to date on all the high street trends within the UK. Um, so I'm gonna make the stacker jacket from Papercut Patterns. I'll show you the picture of the version I'm going to make. And I'm just gonna show you my fabrics because I thought, well, I never, I barely ever buy fabrics and talk to you about this. So, and I'm quite excited. So I've got two fabrics. So the first one um, is this really beautiful gray wool fabric. It's got a slight pile to it. Um, yeah, very, I mean, it literally matches my walls, doesn't it? Um, really nice, simple, kind of beautiful coating. Um, I've had this sitting around for a while, so it's been in my stash for a while. The other thing I got, which I really wanted to share because I think you guys might actually, well, I wet my pants a little bit when I saw it because it's so good. Um, it is this. So this is from, I got this from Fabrics Galore. It is a fleece shearling yes you heard that correctly a fleece shearling so i mean you know we were talking about shearling in the sew the trends this is oh it honestly it's like a giant teddy bear it's the softest thing i've ever ever um stroked basically it's amazing i'll pop a link i think they've got it in two colors they've got it in this like camely color and a blue like a dark blue so i'll pop a link if you were interested so what i thought was having the gray on the outside and this as my lining so it's like padded and really cozy i i'm so excited about making this i can't even tell you how excited i'm about making it so yeah that is my sewing plans for this month and i am actually going to do it i've got the pattern it's going to happen so um other stuff, cool things. So we've got, um, kind of, I guess it's an indie designer. We've got, if you haven't seen, we're now stocking Fibre Mood um, magazine, which if you haven't come across them before, it's a pattern magazine. You get kind of 20 to, like 20 to 25 patterns in each magazine. They've got some knitwear and some 
um, some knit patterns and women's and children's dressmaking. They're really beautiful. So the magazine's laid out. So the first part of it is is sort of um, showing you the um, what patterns they've got. It's kind of like a lookbook at the front. So it shows you that it's got some sort of style tips, but generally it's you know layout of the pattern. What, sorry layout like this so you get the little line drawing of the pattern down there and then how it looks on the person um the middle bit is all the patterns so they are all it's a bit birdery they're all overlapped um like this um i will say that they only put two patterns on per sheet so it's um each pattern is a different color so it's not as horrific and then at the back, they've got a little thing here with all of the line drawings to give you an idea. And then at the back, they've got all of the um, instructions, which I have to say are quite um, simple. So it, there isn't any writing. It's just um, it's just picture instructions. But there are you can go online and download proper instructions from their website. So yeah, we're stocking them, which I'm really excited about because we've kind of been wanting to do it for a while. I think the, the patterns are really lovely and um, yeah, we're quite excited. So we've got three issues. So we bought, this is the most current one and we back bought the last two as well because they're still really nice and they're really good value as well. I think it's 14.50 for the magazine and you get 23 patterns. So it's pretty good value. Um, I will say, they sold really well and they have just gone out, a couple, I think a couple of them are out of stock. I've reordered them, I'm hoping they'll be here by Monday, um, so they should be here really soon. Uh, it might, they might even be here by the time this video is up. Who knows? But yeah, so we're really excited about stocking that and I just thought I'd flag it because if you haven't seen them before they're definitely worth having a look at. Um, it's quite nice to get something sort of physical through the letterbox. Um, the other pattern company I wanted to talk to you about is called um, My Lady of, sorry, Our Lady of Leisure Patterns, and um, it's an Australian company. They've got, oh, let's have a look: two, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. They've got like thirty patterns. Um, we've just added them up, and I really like them. I think they're really interesting. I'll pop some pictures up so here, like scrolling pictures, so you can see the sort of thing. Um, they're just really wearable. They're really interesting kind of shapes. They're kind of stuff that I think most people would want to wear. A lot of them are for yeah, obviously Australian country. They're like for warmer, warmer climbs. But um, I just thought they were really nice. So the patterns come um, size-wise. I think they go up to. 6 to 18. They do have um, some of them go up to um, a 20, 20 to 30 as well so it depends on each pattern is slightly different but they the kind of core ones go up to 18 they definitely have some of their patterns where they go up bigger as well so that is great. Um, they're definitely worth having a look at and again I don't know if I've said this but everything I talk about I'll pop links down below so you can go and have a proper look. Um, the other last exciting sort of I guess it's a pattern announcement, maybe. Let's go with that. Um, Christine Haynes, who I'm sure a lot of you will know, um, she was one of the first indie pattern designers. She's had a bit of a break for a while and now she's coming back to it. So she contacted us and she to tell us that she's now going to be selling paper patterns, which is so exciting. Um, so we, and she's going to, I think she's rejigging them all, reshooting them, expanding the size range on them, and she's going to be releasing new um, patterns as well. So yeah, I'm just really excited to have her back because I love her, I love her patterns, I think they're beautiful. And um, she has just relaunched the Emery dress, so we've ordered the paper patterns, she's also sent us the PDF, so if you can't wait and you haven't got it, um, the PDF pattern is up on the site so you can go and have a look at it. It's such a classic shape, like, if you get this dress, you will wear this dress forever. It is fit and flare, which suits most people. It's just lovely, so oh, yeah, go and have a look at it, and um, yeah, the PDF is up there if you want it, and obviously now you can get it on Copy Shop if you want. Um, Sorry, I, I know I keep going on about it. 
it's just Brenda. We're just very excited about our new printer. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, stuff that I've read, which I thought would be cool. Um, Grain Line Studio has got this really interesting blog series starting on um, kind of fabric scrap busting and just being a bit more sustainable with our fabrics. Um, and there's loads of really great projects. Um, they just released one about statement earrings, which I thought was so good. And yeah, they def that would be definitely be something I would recommend going and following along because they've got really, really like nice stuff. And Grain Line Studio, they've got such a nice aesthetic. Everything always looks really beautiful. Um, next up, we've got um, a uh, kind of sewing thing happening sewing thing um, you might have heard about it it's happening on sew direct it's called the simplicity pattern hack along and um, they've launched a thing where they have 10 patterns which are hacking patterns which i've never heard i didn't know that they did actually so the idea is you buy them with options to kind of hack them into what you want and they've challenged 15 bloggers to um hack their patterns and kind of come up with something creative and um, we're part of the little tour thingy minable um but they've you should definitely go and have a look because what we've had two weeks so far and both both people the first person was juliet from the sewing bee and the second person is abby who is um the crafty pinup but she's just changed her name to abby i'll pop a link and um, yeah, they've made totally different things, but really beautiful. So that's definitely worth going and having a look at because I quite like having something each week where there's a new thing coming out and Rachel is next week. So watch out for Rachel. I don't know what she's doing. It's going to be pretty good, actually, I think. Um, next up, something to go and see. Um, anyone who is in London or coming to London over the next, let's have a look, in, until March, this is on, um, it's the Tim Walker exhibition at the v &A. If you haven't come across Tim Walker, um, he is the most wonderful fashion photographer. Kind of everything that he, for me, inspired me so much when I was doing my degree. I just wanted to I basically just wanted to be him. He did all these beautiful shoots with Vogue, kind of very whimsical, loads of um, references to children's books. It's like Alice in Wonderland and this, I just know this exhibition is going to be amazing. So if you get a chance to go, it's definitely worth it. The tickets are 15 quid. Um, yeah, and it's on until... 8th of March so 2020 so you've got a long time but if you're in London at any point over the next six months I reckon this would definitely be worth going to so I'm going to probably go and see it in a couple of weeks um, which I'm really excited about. Um, stuff that I have been listening to so I've got four things to talk to you about um, the first one is something on Radio 4, it's with Mary Portis and it's called On Style, her series. And it's a series of podcasts or programmes where she talks to different people within design about what makes good design. And I've listened, there are three of them so far. The first one was with, um, is it the first one? Yeah, the first one was with Tom Dixon, who's an amazing um, interiors designer who creates products, um, the kind of light, lights and stuff. He's, like, amazing. But they're really interesting discussions, and I think you guys would find it really interesting. I, I've, like, can't wait for each episode to come out, and she's, I think, Mary Portis is frickin' ace. Um, the next thing I've got to talk to you about listening to, this is not sewing related, but I know some of you are down with a bit of crime. Um, this podcast is called Bear Brook. It's so well produced. Anyone who enjoyed um, something like Serial, where it's really highly produced, they just go through one crime and it's amazing it's really interesting it it talks about lots of different things around the actual case and how this case changed the way that they use um, DNA profiling it's, it's really fan it's really fantastic so I can't recommend that enough I binged it in about a day and a half um, the next one that I've got which I started listening to which Rach recommended to me is the tip-off um, 
this is uh, the premise of this podcast is looking at behind the scenes about big stories that broke in the news and how how they got their tip off in the interview kind of the journalists who were around breaking the story and it's again and something that's been really well produced and I think you guys would really really love it so yeah that's definitely worth having a listen to and the last one which I've definitely spoken about before but it's back for another series is the Jay Rayner series Out to Lunch which is where he takes someone out to lunch because he's a food critic and he interviews um, someone famous but they're really, I love them. Um, so far, this is a new series, so so far he's had Jamie Cullum and David Bedell and they were both great. So I, I think you will really enjoy them. Um, they're about half an hour long, or maybe like half an hour, 40 minutes. And yeah, they just talk about everything. And he says in his intro, Jay Rayner, um, I, you know, you have your best, co- I have my best conversations with someone sitting around a table and I completely agree I'm from a family where we all, you know, sat down every night, had dinner, you know, chatted about our day. So I think, um, yeah, I I think it's brilliant. So it's definitely worth checking out. That is it for me. Um, I hope that was good and you've enjoyed my little roundup of stuff. And I will report back about my stacker jacket. I promise I will actually, you know, show you the results. And because it's now so blooming cold, I definitely need it. I think it might become my house coat. Right, have a lovely weekend everyone and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.